Right, right. Well, I want to say, I want to touch on that that text that you got the other day, and you called me about it. You know, in terms of uh, you know, a certain group of people have taken over the uh, rally, right? Then a certain group of people have taken over. You know, the, the text that I got for it said that in Medina, basically the people who the um the, how can I say the alphabets. Yeah, yeah, the LBG yeah. mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. basically had took over the parliament where we normally had a parliament on the mountain of, in Medina mm -hmm. and it looked like it was like a picnic area normally that area would be secured for us um, was it, is it permit, uh, permit it's a permit oh, it's a permit man. yeah it's a permit so um, they was able to override the permit that we have they was good so this is the thing the permit said that we're supposed to be up on the mountain but if nobody is there to regulate what area we're supposed to have, when people just get up there early in the morning before anybody get there, they just gonna put their blankets out and set up. And that's basically what happened. So there's no enforcement to say that. Not to my knowledge. Yeah, because that's something like you just tell like the parks department, listen, we have a parks right department. Here. The thing about it, you have to be there in order to say we got a permit for this particular area. Because it's a public park. Right. So we're not locking down the whole park. It was certain areas just that locked off. But again, whoever had the permit, whatever uh, procedure was supposed to be in place, I don't know if it was in place or wasn't in place or got overruled, I don't know. But I know it was not the normal parliament that we would have in Medina. I mean, they ended up making a go at it, you know, but a lot of people was down at the bottom of the hill. Right. So when I came, I said, well, well, the parliament's up on top. They said, no, nah, there's nobody up there to stand mm -hmm. the third. I said, well, I said, let me go up there anyway. So when I got up there, I seen like seven people up there. The main people, I saw Virtuous, I saw him up there, a couple of other people that was up there. And um, everybody else started coming slowly after that. The other, within that same text that we're talking about, mm -hmm. it was said to me that the, the alphabet people were taking over the parliament in Medina, the um, church the church is taking over Harriet Tubman mm -hmm. based on the video that was put out. It was a video put out right. that uh, said peace God and in the video there was a miscommunication of what the video was saying. But it was, seems like in that text that I got, it said that now we got a, got drug dealers coming out of a law school in Mecca, which mm -hmm. that wasn't the case. It wasn't drug that was being passed off, it was merch or merchandise, mm -hmm. which was a t-shirt. In the video, if you look at the video, you see a, a brother talking to a young brother, explaining to him, you know, the right thing to do. And he wanted to go out there and be hustling, but he basically talked to him, and in the midst of him talking or teaching or mentoring him, he ended up going toward the law school and changing his lifestyle and the lifestyle that he changed from was a negative to a positive and he was passing off a package which basically was a t-shirt mm -hmm. but the first indication if you look at it, it looked like he's passing off a package of work from the street mm -hmm. and that caused a lot of uh, misunderstanding. misunderstanding confusion and that's what let me call you mm -hmm. the text bill with you and bill with Sunya because he was in the video at the end and they wanted to come at him, you know. But out of all that, and the show that was given that weekend, right, Saturday. I, that Saturday, out of all that came a better understanding. Uh, far as I'm concerned, with my peers, mm. as my homies, as uh, Doc Kim <laughs> illustrated to me, right, right. and gave us a chance to dialogue with younger brothers. I think everybody was on that call, the Zoom call that we had, is maybe 20 years younger than me, at least. At least. Right. At least. So that gave me an opportunity to be able to bridge a gap, which people in our nation always use the argument that, well, the old is blocking the young from doing certain things. Now we at a stage where the young and the old are being able to communicate. At least we can communicate now behind what happened with those past few days in the video, the show, and the misunderstanding, now we got a better understanding, and that led us to be where we at today. And with open communication, because I got a call from Doc Kim the other day, letting me know to let my homies, my homies know that they're gonna be giving out uh, candy for Halloween at the school. You don't want nobody you know, thinking that you know, it's other than what we do. 
because they're giving it out to the children in the community because we do say that the law school in Mecca is an outreach center for the growth and development of neighborhood youth. So the neighborhood youth that we're talking about dealing with, not just school supplies and that they gave out at the school the you know, past weekend, Saturday and Sunday, but also you got Christmas coming up. And again, it was told, and I was looking at some literature the other day, where a law had Christmas parties and a law was giving out toys to the people in the community. Bilal and his team did it last year. They gave out toys and stuff uh, to the children in the nation that took them and people in the community. So maybe that might happen again, I don't know. But at least we got a form of communication. People will know about it up front and they won't get shocked into saying, yo, or why they got a scarecrow in the yard or whatever the case may be, if it go that far. Yeah, I don't think you have a scarecrow in the yard. I'm just using yeah, that right, as an right, example. Right, right. No, no, because sometimes it does look like the lines are being blurred in exactly. some way. So, you know, and then people who are far away can't really tell what's going on. So and, they draw and, a conclusion that that's And that's why we always say about those layers. Right. You always got those layers you got to go through. It's like when I told you about taking everything from knowledge to born, you got layers. You got seven layers you got to go to to make things come out born alive or born dead. So right. that's the justification for those layers. So we got to make sure that those layers are clear so that people don't get blurred vision where they can't see. Right, right. And that's what that's why you know I want to just open up the lines of communication with you more like to, to, to bridge the gap in the communication because you can as you know, like, you know, the older brothers, you know, don't really communicate as well to the younger brothers. Or vice versa, right? Because, you know, for me, like, you know, I I was responsible for this event, right? Or, you know, one of the people who organized the event. Right. Right. So, you know, I uh came to the people who that I saw that were actively involved in the school, right? But then later on, come to find out, there are people who are not so active, or, or if they are active, they're in the background that we don't see, we don't, you know, even we hear from. And that's that, where the you know about it. And that's where the communication comes in. So like I said, now that we are where we are now, we got an open line of communication. And like I said before, I would like to see more young people involved with activities down at the law school in Mecca because the goal for a law school in Mecca now is to be at the helm of being the national headquarters for the nation. Mm -hmm. So where we should be able to link up all other regions to come through the school to be on the same page. They're working now on striving to have an international uh, region conference next year. I got an email from uh, Zaya and I got an email from Divine Prince about what they're looking to do far as the uh, October next year. Mm -hmm. But leading up to that, one of my goals at the Law Youth Center, a law school in Mecca, is to have a law youth center in Mecca basically oversee a law school in Mecca and to bring more activities. I like to see more earth down to school with some type of program. I like to see young people that got an idea about a program to come in. I like to see more young people coming in instead of having people sitting in front of the school all day with pushes and wheelchairs and cranes and things. You must do your own research as I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. If Mega did this.